We'll guide you through how to make a Google Drive link to share files. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Firstly, come to Google Drive. And so what I like to do to go and share files is to go and create a folder and then share that entire folder with files in which I want to go and share. But you can also go and share specific files and the process is pretty much the same to go and do this. So in this case, I want to go and create a specific folder to go and do this with. So all you need to do is go to the top left and click on new and then click on new folder and we can go and name this. I'll just go and name this share, but you can name it anything you want and hit on create and it will then go and create the folder and we can go and double click on it. And then what you can do is go and upload the files which you wish to share. To do that, you click on new in the top left and then click on file upload. You can select the files which you wish to upload and go and press on open and they'll then start uploading. You can always add or remove files in the future though. I just like to do it at the start. And then what we can do is either go and share just the specific file or you can share the entire folder. So to share the specific file, you click on it then right click on it and press on share, press on share again and you go through the process, which is exactly the same as the folder one. And to share the entire folder, you click on the name at the top, then go and click on share and share again, like we did for the file. And we'll open up this share menu. And then what you can do is either have restricted access, which means only people with access can open with the link. So this means you'll need to go and add them here. So you can type in their email or name, but if you can, but you can go and change the general access to anyone with the link. And then anybody with this link will be able to go and view and download the files. But if you want people to be able to go and add them as well, then head over to the right and you can go and set that to editor. And then anyone with the link can go and upload and see your files as well. So do just remember that. And so you can then copy the link and send that to people or alternatively set it to restricted. You can add people and make them an editor. And those people can then go and upload files and download yours as well. And you can download theirs. So I think creating a folder is a great way to do this. If you found this guide useful, then please leave a like.